Welcome back. Today we are doing the IAG AOS air oil separator install on my 2006 Subaru STI. Um, what I have laid out right here is just the, the contents of that came in the package. So we have the actual AOS here, um, which I labeled some of these with just some, some tape real quick. Um, and then we have all of our tubes. So these two are for your coolant lines. This is going to be your, um, your passenger side hose. Then you're gonna have a longer one for the driver. Um, and then this one is a little bit bigger, goes here to the crank, um, as well as this one. And then you have your huge breather line that goes up on top. With that, you have um, a bunch of pieces. This is the new style mounting bracket that comes with it. Um, your couple of um, fitters that you'll need. Um, because I'm using the competition series, um, this is just venting to atmosphere. Um, so that you got some plugs that will um, plug up some of the lines that you don't need and then whole things held on by zip ties other than the mount. So um, with that we'll go ahead and take a look at what it looks like for the car. Alright so here we have it. Um, disclosure, I already took this off um, but I, I set it in here just so I could kind of explain what you need to do and how to take it off. Um, the big thing here is you're gonna have two big bolts on both sides. You want to pull those off. Both of those are on some sort of mounting bracket. Um, brackets are going to look something like this. One over here, one here. I took these brackets, oh man. I took them off because I don't need them, but I still wanted those screws. Um, so you're gonna pull those off um, and then you're gonna have some coupling, you know, a coupling here that you're gonna pull off. You're gonna have a tube going from there, blow off valve to your intake that you're gonna wanna pull off. And then underneath this, you're gonna have a tube that's um, going from the turbo. Um, all that's gonna have to come off to pull it off. And then you're gonna have three tubes here. Um, starting on the left, this one is one going to the crank, this one is going to your intake, and then over here you also have one going to your crank. Now the two on the outside here are the ones that will be replaced by the AOS system, um, and they're just these pinch clamps here, so you can just pop them off and then I just plug them up with paper so nothing gets in there while we're doing everything else. So if we go ahead and spend the time to take it off, I promise you it's not going to be that easy when you do it. But this is what it's going to look like. Um, well, the last one I forgot here is just the blow-off valve tube. Um, I just label it so I don't forget because I'm doing some other stuff. So, Next step that we're going to do now is probably going to be looking at taking off the uh, throttle body here. So this is what happens and why you need an AOS. <laughs> that is all oil. So that this entire thing comes off and then we put this bolt in there to seal that up. Because I'm using the competition versus the street series. So this is what we're looking at to pop off. We have two of these right here to pull that off and then they give you a little tiny placement tube and the new um, splitters for it as well. So to explain, these are the, the clamps that are on there um, and to show how you get them off, you just go down there with a the screwdriver and if you can get your screwdriver in between there, you're just gonna give it a little twist so that it can pop off. If you ever had to get these back on, that'd be a pain in the butt, but that's how you're going to get them off.
food that they give you. wanted to show you I threaded in the two coolant pipes um, both of them just thread in I don't think it matters which one's which they came out to be pretty much the same length and then I put the bracket on with the three screws you want that bent up um, because it's gonna actually go right over here and if I grab the camera real quick I can show you so this is where we're gonna be putting it that bolt is gonna be coming out and we're gonna use that one and so with it lined up the AOS is going to look something like this and that's where it's gonna go so I just wanted to show you that, now we're going to get working. top tube is going to go like this. We will trim the lines. Thank God. <laughs> but it'll go in. And then the bottom one is going to go to the turbo inlet here. Like that. Maybe trim that line too. Probably trim them both because that kink is not going to do. Don't kink shame. <laughs> So we got the first two lines on, top one coming over to the passenger side, coming down into there. And then the middle one is the driver's side, which I routed through here, and then goes right there.
got the install done. Uh, I'm just going to walk through all the tubes again and show you where everything's going. So we'll start up top. This is your coolant in line going up to the reservoir. That runs down, goes to the bottom, and that tube runs into the turbo. Then on the top one here, we have the passenger side uh, air hose here. That goes down here um, on my finger. There's two, there's two tubes down here. It's the front one, and it's the front one on both sides. And we have the middle one, goes to the driver's side, so that we have routed up all the way over, comes down over here. And then comes around here, and you can see it pretty well down here. Um, again, it's the front one, not the back one. And then we have a combination here. There's a tube at the very bottom that runs down off to the Y, and it goes under the turbo. And then this last one here runs down and goes to the T. I probably cut a little bit too much off here, but no big deal. Um, it'll rest there just fine. I'm not putting the top mount on top of this, otherwise I probably would have cut that down a little bit. But with the front mount, it should be just fine there. Um, so really the last thing all I have to do is just kind of zip tie all this stuff together. Um, and then this, with the competition series, this is just a vent to atmosphere. So they gave me a really big tube and I could easily take that and you know route it down underneath um, the the instructions say to go down past the transmission have it you know halfway between the car to to exit but um, we'll see I don't know if I want all the tubes in there or not so so last thing I forgot to do is just plug up that uh, that line down here so oh. Did you drop it what was that uh, it? it was just a washer don't need it <laughs> um, so that'll plug in Tighten that back up, and then we can put the intake manifold back on. Nope, that is a throttle body. <laughs> Run it again, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a jump scare on your part. Well, yeah, you I almost hit me in the face, Dan. No, no, I didn't. I cut these brackets. Oh, man. Well, that was just one try, and that's it, huh? <laughs> I did three good wanks. Three good yanks. So. Three good wanks. I just don't want it there. I don't like the... <laughs> well hey guys that's it for the install thanks for tuning in and watching um, be sure to come back the next video that we're going to be doing is either going to be an unboxing of a cob access port mount or it's going to be the whole front mount intercooler install so thanks for stopping by see you next time <laughs>